Hey, Warren, sorry, just over here to your left, uh, your left, over here. Um, Colton Sevier uh, was, was quite uh, good at sort of explaining when you're not necessarily a captain uh, or part of the unofficial leadership group that everybody really feels the pressure to, to turn things around. Can you uh, just maybe describe how, how you feel and what you're seeing from top to bottom in the lineup and trying to turn things around? Yeah, um, you know, for us, to, uh, for us to get out of this, uh, you know, we, we all have to do our part. You know, it's it's not on one guy or or anything like that. For us to get over this hump, we all have to do our part, and you know, we all feel responsible right now. And um, it, it's been frustrating, but you know, we, we just gotta just keep digging away and and uh, and pounding away. It's the only way to get out of it. Hi. Uh, that, so that first period yesterday, you know, is one of the best first periods you guys have played all year. The second period is pretty good as well. Do you do you build on that? Do you have to build on that, or are you too far along in the slide to be taking positives out of a sixth loss? Um, yeah, we played hard and and uh, we did a lot of the the right things, but again, we we didn't really do that for a full sixty. And um, you know, t next uh, tomorrow's a new day, and you know. It, we got some games in hands here, so that's something to be positive about. And um, but we got to start, uh, you know, bearing down on the D zone and you know bearing down on the O zone as well. You know, we just gotta keep digging away, kind of what I just said before, and yeah. go from there. You can you saw from those first 40 minutes that there's a good team in there somewhere. This isn't an, an absolute train wreck. So are you guys sort of is that the mantra in the room that as bad as things seem, you know, it's maybe not as bad as it looks. Yeah, for sure. We have a lot of, a lot of great guys, a lot of great players. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just about execution and, and, and doing it right. And you know, you saw that yesterday that we're capable of doing that. And um, you know, we just got to keep pounding away. Warren, over here to your left. Um, when things are going bad, you know, it opens up the possibility and opportunity for guys to start pointing the finger at each other, getting negative. That's just natural instinct. Who or how are you guys going about keeping it? cool within the group and in the room and and not letting that happen where guys are getting frustrated with one another, with one another pardon me yeah you, you just can't do that you know this is a team game you know winning is is about playing as a team and playing together you know there's not one guy that is here to save the day or anything like that that's just not the way hockey is is played so there's no benefit of pointing the finger at anyone the only way we're going to succeed as a, is as a team and the only way uh, like, yeah, the only way to get out of this is, is, is just playing as a team and, you know, don't point fingers. So there's a, you know, there's a lot of pressure on a lot of guys. I guess I'd ask you this. I don't know if you've been through one of these in recent times, but if you did, it would have been in Raleigh. Um, what's it like being an Edmonton Oiler playing for it in a big Canadian city and being on one of these losing jags? What's it like? just being Warren Fogel these days? Um, I think, uh, you know, as a competitor, you don't enjoy losing, right? So I think as a group, we're frustrated that we're not getting those results. And um, obviously, yeah, it's, it's been frustrating that, you know, we're, we're sometimes we're in games and, and then we just, we just can't seem to, to just get over that hump. Um, but I remember my first year in Carolina, we, uh, I think at the halfway point, we weren't in the playoffs. And we finished the second half battling back just to get the final wild card. And then we ended up making it to the Eastern Conference Finals. So, you know, there's, there's, a lot, there's still a lot of optimism. You know, we're not out of this. And we know we have great players. You know, it's just, it's just about doing it together as a group. And, you know, we saw yesterday, you know, we had really strong details in that first 40 minutes. Like, really good practice this week that led to those details and now it's about executing those for a full 60 and, and sticking together you know even if we give up the first goal you know we, we still stick together and we still battle to you know chase the game and, and, and play still you know the game's not over yet there's I would say two people in in particular that are the point of a lot of pressure on this thing you know across the hockey world they're talking about Dave Tippett, Tippett and they're talking about Miko Koskinen uh, you're a you know, a teammate of one and playing for the other one. What's it? What's the feeling in the room when you see, you know, those guys under this much pressure? Yeah, I think it's unfair to be honest. Like, 
you know, we win, we win as a team, we lose as, as a team. Kind of what I said before, it's, it's, it's unfair just to blame one guy, you know. We're all responsible on the ice. All six guys that are on the ice that make a mistake, we're all responsible together. So, um, you know, we're a team and, and, and we're here to win and you just can't be pointing fingers and, and saying, oh, it's that guy's fault, this guy's fault. Like, it doesn't work like that. That's not how you win. Uh, Warren, just just back here. Uh, I just wonder, you know, you've had an opportunity to kind of move up and down the lineup over the last month, get different roles. How do you feel about your your game and how you've been able to contribute over the last month during this during this spell here? Um, you know, it, you know, I'm I'm part of the reason that we're losing too. You know, I'm responsible as well, just like everyone else in that room. So there's room for improvement, and um, you know, just got to keep moving my feet. You know, I, I think I need to be a little bit more physical and you know, keep trying to be uh, tenacious and things like that. But, um, you know, I got to be better. You know, every inch uh, matters out there. And, and clearly it's, it hasn't been good enough. Warren, we are just um, obviously hockey is about opportunity and, and you have an opportunity tomorrow night on a big stage against a big opponent. How far would that go if you guys put in a good effort <clears throat> and able to get that win? How far would that go into, you know, trying to turn the, this ship around? Yeah, um, for sure. You know, uh, kind of what I said before, we're, we got some games in hand, so this would be a great opportunity to, you know, get a win and, you know, get some mojo back in the room and, and feel a little bit more confident, for sure. And I know things have been kind of stressful with, you know, with the COVID situation, it's minus 30 outside and it just, things are going bad. But when you get into a rhythm here, you, you'll get into a rhythm of starting to play games every other day or, or, or games back to back. How much will that help? Guys like you, like you know, because athletes are kind of creatures of habit. How much is that going to help just getting back into that rhythm? Yeah, for sure. You know, playing games, getting into a rhythm flow. Um, you know, it's just a lot easier to to uh, to play out there. You know, get more comfortable, confident, and um, you know, it's nice that we're going to get some some games going here, and you know, hopefully, uh, you know, ride the momentum of that.